and welcome to the Survey123 for ArcGIS tutorial video series. In this video, I will describe the use of an advanced XLS form property called Instance Name. This property is useful for uniquely identifying survey submissions in your field app. This is the Crop Scout survey without the Instance Name setting. I've saved all the surveys in the draft box because I want to review them before sending in the surveys. However, it's hard to identify a specific survey by their name. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can improve this view by defining a unique identifier for each survey using the instance name property in the XLS form. I'd like the submission survey's name to look like this, which is a combination of survey responses for site ID and crop type. This is the XLS form for the Crop Scout report. I will use this expression in the instance name column on the settings worksheet. I have concatenated the two variables with a space in between to create the survey instance name. Note that the two variables, site ID and crop name, are entries in the name column on the survey worksheet. Let's save our work and preview the result in the Connect app. Note that we can check the instance name by clicking the Validate Input button to make sure it works before publishing the survey. Once the survey is published, I can re-download the survey to the app. Here I will put AC412 for Site ID and choose Wheat for the crop type. I'll fill in the rest of the survey and save it as a draft. You can see that in the draft box, the name of the submitted survey is composed of site ID, a blank space, and the selected crop type. To learn more about instance name, please click the link below. Thanks for watching.